Since their entry into the industry, Nintendo has managed to move hundreds of millions of video game consoles. Despite the occasional financial misstep along the way, they have remained a household name from NES to Switch. But for each new machine, there exist versions that come to be owned by only a few. Rare, officially licensed console variants are an inevitability with each generation of Nintendo systems, and it has inspired an underground world of private collectors that track them closely. One of the biggest names in this community is Console Variations, a site that archives the history of rare gaming hardware. For this edition of Game History Secrets, I've joined forces with them to share a look at some of the rarest Nintendo consoles on the planet and the stories behind them. For our first case study, we're taking a look at an extremely rare piece from Europe. Endzone is an officially licensed Nintendo magazine that has been sold in Germany since 1997 at the height of the Nintendo 64. As gaming magazines often do, it has held many competitions in its time, and in 2005 it held a series of giveaways that piqued the interest of European collectors. For this event, Nintendo produced a series of rare systems with unique colour schemes and decals corresponding to recent first party titles. They were planned to be given away in celebration of Endzone's 10th anniversary. The most elusive of these custom gadgets was a blue Nintendo DS with Super Mario 64 DS art printed on it. It featured a render of Mario swimming underwater with bubbles surrounding him, spreading from the front of the device into its interior. While the other consoles in the promotion are believed to have found their way to readers of the magazine, the Mario 64 DS inexplicably disappeared off the map for years to come. Enthusiasts were unable to pinpoint its location until console variations reached out to former staff from the magazine. According to these sources, the end zone competition for the Mario handheld never moved forward. It was cancelled due to internal politics at the company. However, the pictures printed in the magazine were no mere mock-ups. Nintendo had produced the consoles and delivered them to the publication. The Mario DS fell into the hands of an employee who held on to it for well over a decade before passing it on to console variations in 2019. Still in very good condition today, it is considered extremely rare, with only one of them having ever been made. In 2020, the site placed its value at around $3,000. Japan's largest airline, All Nippon Airways, has a well-established history of partnering with Nintendo and the Pokemon company dating back to the 1990s. They have, for instance, had a number of ANA jets themed with Pokemon from various generations. The collaboration reached its apex in 1999 when passengers aboard these planes were given the chance to take home some Nintendo goodies. Each seat was entered into a raffle at the start of each journey and a random seat number would be called out as the winner. A prize often given out during these events was a special charcoal colour Nintendo 64 with the ANA logo printed on it. These were given away alongside copies of Hey You Pikachu and Pokemon Stadium. It's estimated by console variations that around just 2,000 of the ANA Nintendo 64s were ever given away, meaning they are considered very rare today. The consoles have been known to crop up on sites like eBay, although it is much harder to come by them complete in their original shipping boxes. The collection, when presented in its original shipping container, is valued by console variations at around $4,000. Nintendo has, over the years, made a habit of sending games media outlets unique merchandise to promote their upcoming titles. This practice has led to some hotly sought after items. Their inherent rarity, and the allure of them not being available to the public, drives fans to drop hundreds of dollars to add them to their collections. One such example is the special edition Advance Wars DS, made to advertise Advance Wars Jewel Strike in 2005. Only 50 of these press kits were sent out in total, and they were made available exclusively to press in Europe. The assortment of rare merch came in a repurposed army ammunition box. Inside was a custom camouflage Nintendo DS, a copy of Advance Wars Jewel Strike, and a mug emblazoned with the game's logo. Console Variations places the collection somewhere between $750 to $1,000. 
In 2010, Nintendo made headlines with yet another big collaboration. The company partnered with fast food giant McDonald's to produce a line of McDonald's branded DSi units. These devices were made available exclusively to branches of McDonald's in Japan whose employees used them for training purposes. The black DSIs donning the McDonald's M came with unique DS cartridges containing training software. Two varieties of McDonald's training software were offered, one for helping get franchise newcomers to grips with the workings of the restaurant and another to aid existing workers. The programs were intended to teach everything from workplace sanitation to food preparation, and the two cartridges even came in their own DS game boxes, complete with instruction manuals. This attempt to capitalise upon the massive success of the handheld is said to have cost McDonald's around $2.2 million. Several years later, this program was gradually phased out of stores and the devices made their way into the hands of collectors. A decade on, the McDonald's DSi is considered very rare and highly valuable. The few that have cropped up online typically bear the wear and tear from everyday usage inside the restaurants, but still manage to fetch a large sum from enthusiasts. In 2020, one was put up for sale on Yahoo Japan auctions with one of the training cartridges and sold for the equivalent of around $3,200. Fans have attempted to reverse engineer the software to fully access its features, but have found only limited success since it requires a form of authentication to use. 2017 saw the re-release of Rockstar's open-world detective game L.A. Noir. The publisher went all out to promote its return, even commissioning some custom gaming hardware. These devices were painted gold and black, with designs inspired by the game's 1940s aesthetic. There was one made for each platform the re-release landed on, PC, Xbox One, PS4 and Nintendo Switch. They were all given out as part of a sweepstakes one month on from launch in December 2017. Fans could enter via Rockstar's social club to win one of the four machines. The winners are believed to have received their prizes in early 2018, and the devices fell off the radar for some time after that. It didn't require a detective to track down the Nintendo Switch, however, as it soon began being traded around collector circles. Console Variations acquired it after it emerged on a Facebook trading group in 2019. The item is entirely one of a kind. It features a custom LA Noir Nintendo Switch dock, console and matching Joy-Con. It also sports the Rockstar logo on the back of it. The site estimated that the set was worth at least $2,000 in 2020. In mid-2005, the Japanese club Nintendo site launched a region-exclusive giveaway designed to encourage players to spend more on software and hardware during this period. The promotion was called Hot Summer. Players who registered a DS or two games during the summer were entered into a prize draw to potentially win one of a number of Club Nintendo exclusives. At the top of the prize list were some highly rare DS consoles, with a number of different custom designs. Printed on the front of them was the Hot Summer namesake and 3D frame art of some of Nintendo's biggest characters, including Mario, Peach, Yoshi, Wario and Bowser. The Wario DS was later replaced with a Donkey Kong variety. 200 were made per character, making for a total of just 1,000 handhelds. The campaign proved popular in Japan and quietly made its way to Europe, albeit in a much more limited fashion, resulting in a series of devices that were even more rare. As opposed to giving them away via Club Nintendo, Nintendo of Europe had only five devices made, one of each variety, and privately distributed them to European celebrities. As opposed to Hot Summer, the text was replaced with Special Limited Edition 2005. In the years since this marketing ploy, only one of the Limited Edition 2005 units have been discovered by collectors, the Donkey Kong variety. It was originally sent to German musician Xavier Naidu before being recovered by console variations. Due to its extreme rarity and spotless condition, the device is regarded as exceedingly valuable. Puzzle and Dragons is a match 3 puzzle game that gained immense popularity in the 2010s, at one point even becoming the highest grossing mobile app of all time. 
The series eventually made its Nintendo console debut in 2015 through a special collaboration with The Big N. The result was Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Edition, a crossover blending the mechanics of the burgeoning puzzle game with the iconic characters of Nintendo's flagship franchise. To mark the launch of this Nintendo 3DS exclusive, P&D developer Gung Ho Online Entertainment hosted an international championship to find the world's best players. Between September 2015 and January 2016, a series of tournaments took place across Japan, South Korea, Germany and the USA. As prizes for the four highest ranking players, Nintendo prepared a unique console never seen before or since, a red new 3DS XL with a gold Super Mario Puzzle and Dragons emblem on the front. The golden text read, Puzzle and Dragons International Championship, with the date of the final round, the 31st of January 2016. Underneath a congratulations message could be found as well. Only four of these consoles were ever produced, making it one of the rarest 3DS variants of all time. For the following few years, the handhelds were retained by their respective winners, but two of them eventually resurfaced. After the tournament, one of them was sold to a second hand store for a small fraction of its true value. The admin of console variations discovered the device in their possession and purchased it, again, for the low price of $150. The reason for this is that the store vendor had no understanding of its significance and believed it had been damaged by its previous owner, remarking that the device had a smudge on it. In reality, this smudge was actually the signature of Mario creator Shigeru Miyamoto. The famous designer had signed three of the four 3DS devices after the tournament, something that only multiplied their value. The 3DS had been well kept in its original packaging, a red and gold box with a map of the international tournament locations on the back. Console Variations estimates that the device with Miyamoto's signature could be worth as much as $10,000, a massive increase over the amount paid for it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more and check out ConsoleVariations.com for more rare video game hardware. You can support my show, Game History Secrets, on Patreon like these kind people did at patreon.com slash liamrobertson.